<laughs> and then there's the regulatory agency fees. Yes. <laughs> you know, I got to thinking about the EPA last night. <laughs> A group of individuals where I said that I was going to have 80% of the actual employees of the Environmental Protection Agency removed. <laughs> Could you get me all the regulatory agency fees of the Environmental Protection Agency? <laughs> now, I know, okay. <laughs> I'm wanting to do a little business, maybe some job hunting. <laughs> in fact, I put in here this uh, these uh, interviews that I was wanting to have with women that wanted to give me babies, that wanted to come to work. Yes, I can deduct those off the expenses <laughs> of my corporation. <laughs> I know. <laughs> now, could you get me all the regulatory fees of the Environmental Protection Agency? Yes. And um, all the individuals, right, that have to have EPA approval for any and all of their pollution controls, right? <laughs> See, I was watching the 60 Minutes last night like a lot of you were. Yes. And uh, I found it interesting that I have a wind scrubber that I wanted to put on all outlets, right, to any ocean, yes, or any uh, river or freshwater outlet of any environmental waste. <laughs> now, you have to uh, understand how it works, right? I might even have to get you a pin. <laughs> but let's say you had 2,500 degrees, approximate, but close to it, yes. And you had a circle, yes, like um, you, you know how it looks in the, in the sewer where there's a sewer pipe that goes out to the ocean? Yes, <laughs> usually it's maybe two to three feet in diameter. Yes, <laughs> on the front of it, you put a wind scrubber. <laughs> Well, it actually has a, a flame, yes, that does not boil water, yes. If you put an HHO gas burner in water, water will not boil. In fact, it won't even get hot. <laughs> it does, for whatever reason, the properties of water will not boil in the flame of an HHO gas generator, yes. But let's say on that outlet, that two to three uh, inch diameter, right, I decided that that uh, what was a welder is has a flame that goes all the way around the inside of it so that it, it's a wall of all the water that would go through that. Yes. Now, on the outside of that, I put a little screen. Yes. It keeps the fish from swimming up the sewer. Yes. And then what I do is everything that goes out of this circle, right, see this, right here, I'll draw you a picture. In this, right, there's all these flames that go out of here. Yes, they do. And all of this is covered in 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, so this whole um, diameter, yes, is, is like a, a wall of HHO gas. Yes. Now, about two to three inches away from that, right, is another screen that will not let anything into the ocean <laughs> until it's completely consumed. See, there's no reason for any plastic to be in the ocean. You could have a welder, right, that the flame, yes, it goes out like this and it welds, but you can take that same flame and you can make it disperse so that it fills the whole void, yes, so that it's it's exactly 2,500 degrees. And then you can attach a screen to it, maybe three to four inches, so that nothing would get through the screen that wasn't microscopic in size. And then it would completely remove all plastics from the ocean. Now, I did uh, watch the television program, and it really upset me that I know at those temperatures, yes, it would completely disintegrate. No longer would it exist. <clears throat> and it would not get into the ocean. It wouldn't get into any river. Yes, it would not get into any fresh water anywhere in the world. Now, a welder, yes, at 2,500 degrees. Now, HHO gas welders can go up to 4,500 to 5,000 degrees. 
in the past it's been used to weld two different materials together or the same materials together yes but that same flame yes can have a special type of nozzle on the end of it so it it actually does what he says now I'm going to sue the EPA for refusing to enforce the laws and I'm going to sue every employee of the Environmental Protection Agency that looks at this little plastic problem in the world's oceans as if it were some really expensive thing to fix. Yes. See, these pollution control facilities, right. I can put a wind scrubber on the outlet uh -huh, of all sewage of all industrial plants so that they never have anything get into the fresh water. Trillion. Trillion. Now, pollution control facilities. Mm -hmm. I can sell this everywhere in the world. I designed this myself because when I watch the videos of HHO gas, <coughs> <coughs> I realize that if it doesn't boil water, it doesn't hurt. You're getting sued. And I'm going to deduct the expenses. Any and all outlets. Yes. Where they're circular or square. Right. I can put flames out so that the whole thing is covered in HHO gas at 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> and I can put a screen four inches away from it. Yes. And nothing, nothing will get into the water. <laughs> now, the same thing, smokestacks, foods, coal industry. Yes. I can custom design an HHO gas wind scrubber. Yes, that does the same thing as if it were a sewer pipe, but it's in the top of a smokestack. <clears throat> then I can remove all the pollution control facilities of any manufacturer right now. And then the EPA doesn't have a fucking thing to say about anything. As long as no pollutants get into the air, yes, or get into the water from the place of them escaping yeah. you do not have the need of any pollution control facilities approach that means the EPA will not need their 